I'm de officially declaring today National Spare Parts Movie Day. Hey, what's up? This is Leonard with Indie Bank Coach, and I just want to take a really quick minute to reminisce. Now, I'm a firm believer of, you know, don't look back, you're not going that way. Um, but I do also recognize that, you know, events um, of our past and our upbringing and all that different kind of stuff does influence where we go. And, you know, if you've ever made a bucket list or if you've ever um, just had a list of goals or things like that that you uh, wanted to achieve, um, it's sometime good to just take a quick second just to uh, reminisce on things that um, that have meant a lot to you, that it took you a long time to achieve, um, just so that you can appreciate the journey. And all of that to say, that's kind of where I'm at now. I'm kind of, you know, kind of got the feels uh, this week uh, because a couple of, of bucket list things have kind of come to light. Um, and the first of which is obviously probably most important is, you know, we just had our, in, okay, for anyone that's had kids or been around people that have had kids, uh, you know, until they're a year old, you kind of celebrate the month. So anyway, so uh, Jessica and I have uh, been married for 12 years. We were in a band together and spent a lot of time on stage. And then we did uh, some stuff for her, our solo career and uh, worked together a long time. But uh, we just had our uh, baby boy and we just celebrated his five months uh, this week. And again, obviously, that's not like, oh, we made it to five months. Anyway, but it's a big deal because he's starting to do stuff. You know, he's starting to roll over and, and talk and sleep through the night. <laughs> oh my goodness. Woo child. Um, so it's been kind of a good, uh, a good time. But then I also looked at the date and I realized that, you know, while he just turned five months, uh, five years ago, we actually had another baby that we were very proud of. And it was actually a song that we co-wrote. Um, and this song was called Kick Drum. Actually, it's still called Kick Drum. We didn't change the name. <laughs> anyway, but the song's Kick Drum. And um, it is a song just within itself. We got a chance to co-write it with uh, Greg Camp, um, who was the guitarist and co-writer on like some of the biggest Smash Mouth hits. So that within itself was, you know, a bucket list um, kind of item. But then, um, after that, um, five years ago to today that I'm recording this, January 16th, um, so January 16th, 2015, is when the movie uh, Spare Parts came out, and we were fortunate enough to have um, our song Kick Drum actually be a part of the movie. Um, and so, you know, while our son just turned five months, you know, our Kick Drum uh, placement just turned five years, and, you know, I just realized that, you know, at the time that the movie came out, we had no idea we were going to have a baby, but like, it's all happening at the same time. And it's like, what? Anyway, but no, it's something that um, we were really, really um, excited about. And we got a chance to go to dinner with our, our family and friends and just get together. And then we went to a movie theater um, in Indianapolis. We were still living in Indy. And yeah, we got a chance to go and sit down in the theater and hear our song on the big screen and it was it was cool um try not to talk too much about it because i feel like i'm <clears throat> cutting some onions but it was just um and, and not in a not in a like oh i'm so cool it's just like when you finally get um like validation of something that you've been working on and it wasn't even just about that song but it was about the fact that you know i've been writing songs for you know 20 some years and trying to place them with publishers and get them to artists and you know honorable mentions and song contests and and all that kind of stuff and just to be able to sit in a theater uh with people that we we love and get a chance to hear it and then to see your name in the credits at the end it was kind of that okay I'm not crazy. I know that I'm supposed to be here. I know that, um, you know, I've got something to to offer and things like that. And the reason I'm really kind of like thinking about that now is because it's so easy to forget that. And, you know, while it's been five years, we've had obviously stuff go on since then. We're living in California now. 
but um, I am trying to remind myself of that feeling and what it took to get there because, you know, we're we're building stuff. Again, we're continually building and we're working on our, our business and stuff like that. So my encouragement to you is to, you know, while you don't want to be stuck in the past, uh, you know, make sure that um, you allow yourself a chance to celebrate um, things that you've accomplished, um, goals that you have met, um, fires that you have walked through, um, you know, challenges that you have met and odds that you've beaten. Uh, because if you've done it once, um, that means you can do it again. And if you've had a chance to, you know, if you're still breathing and you've had a chance to walk through that, that means whatever you're going through now, um, it can also be um, accomplished. Your goals can be accomplished and you can meet all of those. So, you know, I'm saying that to you, but I'm literally was a conversation I was having with myself and I'm like, I might not be the only one that needs to hear this. So I just wanted to kind of reminisce real quick, but just share uh, that in the context of just thinking about, you know, our son turning five months and then um, today being, I'm officially declaring today National Spare Parts Movie Day. Um, but yeah, check out, uh, uh, Jessica's stage name was London Rose, so check out London Rose, uh, the kick drum video on YouTube. Uh, but then, um, if you do rent the movie this weekend, it's a great movie, actually. Um, it's a feel-good movie. It's got George Lopez and Marissa Tomei and Jamie Lee Curtis in it. Um, and then, yeah, the uh, actual song appears in, it's kind of towards the front of the movie, but it's when, um, you know, one of the, the lead student guys, I forget what his name is, oh my gosh, Carlos something, Carlos Pena. Yeah, and he was in the group uh, Big Time Rush, I believe is the name of the group. Um, if I got it wrong, I apologize. But anyway, um, it's when he's in there shopping for stuff and his now wife, um, is actually uh, showing him or getting him close, but it's the only scene in the movie I think where the dude takes his shirt off. Um, if you see a dude take his shirt off, listen to uh, the music in the background uh, that's playing for a minute or so, whatever. But that's our song, and it actually helps set the scene for that really, you know, set the mood for that really intense scene. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Anyway, it was cool, and uh, that's really all I got. So I'm gonna go and not get emotional and. Uh, see what other goals we can accomplish. So hope this helped you guys. All right. Talk to you later. Thanks.